Over the past few weeks, localizers have been melting down over the fact that slowly but surely they are being replaced with AI, and there have been some resurfaced videos from some of these individuals, and another resurfaced one shows Jamie Markey proudly touting about another anime she made major changes to. I have a few different things to show off, but before we get into the topic, if you enjoy the content I create, check out the links in the description, follow me on social media, and consider supporting through Patreon or via YouTube memberships. Now, of course, Jamie Markey is someone who has made plenty of changes to plenty of different things, but of course, this is another situation that's resurfacing. This is a Bounding Into Comics article that I'm referencing. It says, Caught off the heels of her infamous dub of Dragon Maid becoming the focus of yet another round of localization discourse, a video has resurfaced showing Funimation scriptwriter Jamie Markey proudly boasting about the massive changes she made to the English script of Panty and Stalking with Garter Belt. Now, this is the major problem, right? Is that she was not just a voice actor, okay? She was also a Funimation script writer. She got to make decisions behind the scenes that altered the content that we ended up consuming, and she is someone who is not trustworthy with beloved franchises, with really good pieces of content, because she is someone who has inserted you know, narratives that she follows into plenty of products. Of course, this does mention Dragon Maid, but the, uh, you know, patriarchy line, the infamous, I should say, patriarchy line is one that will never be forgotten when we talk about localization night nightmares. But of course, this video is now resurfaced. It says, produced by Studio Trigger predecessor, Gainax, Panty and Stalking with Garter Belt is a 2010 action-packed comedy anime that revolves around the misadventures of the Anarchy Sisters, Panty and Stalking, a pair of angels whose constant bad behavior eventually gets them booted out of heaven and banished to the go ghost plague Dayton City. So this goes back all the way back to 2010. Um, you know, obviously I've talked about localization mishaps on the channel over the past few years, but this is going back. It says the topic of the English dub was first raised in regards to the latest localization discourse courtesy of its lead English dub scriptwriter and voice actor herself, Marky. Marky is saying everything that she shouldn't be. And, uh, Mars Girl, of course, decided to put her to sense into the conversation as well. I'd like to note that I am blocked by all of these women on Twitter. None of them want to have a conversation with me. Go figure. They, you know, want to hide behind blocks. But it says on January 8th, offering her own take on the discourse, Mars Girl had responded to a tweet that said nobody sent people her way. They chose themselves after being presented information previously not known. She deserves every bit of hate coming her way. She deserves to be fired immediately and banned from the industry. And Mars Girl's response was, man, you think writing a word you didn't like was akin to war crimes, which of course is very ironic because people like Mars Girl do cancel individuals for putting mean words on social media, words that they deem a little bit too offensive or outdated People like Mars Girl will cancel them over it, but in turn, Marky had taunted, if they're really so upset about literal translations, can you imagine how much they'd freak out if they'd ever watched Panty and Stalking? The problem isn't everything being a literal translation or a one-to-one. -one. The thing is that these localizers and these scriptwriters feel like they are actually the creatives, right? And that they can make any changes they want because, of course, they view the changes as being better than what the original, you know, writer had come up with. And this is the problem, is that they think that they are creatives. They think that they can make any changes and instantly the product will be better, which is not the case. We just want things uh, like translations uh, that are faithful to the spirit, to the essence of what was originally created. But these people insert like cringy Western terms. Of course, they will add in references to movements that they currently support, like the current day movement, hashtag me too. Like there's been 
references to that added into products and it is very very unfortunate but of course she brought up <laughs> an anime that she worked on panty and stocking and then people started to dig trying to find anything regarding her in this and of course a video was uncovered revealing that she had not just explicitly spoken to the topic of the series english dub during a 2012 anime expo panel but outright boasted about how much she changed now this is not very surprising for years now she has been changing things in the products she's worked on but it is unfortunate that uh she is still part of the industry and is still allowed to make these changes but as seen in the video during the QA portion of the panel, she has asked for her insight into the decision to overload it, the English script with curse words, to which she explains the reason a lot of those words are in there is because you want it to be different and original. Then go and create something yourself. Then it'll be different. Then it'll be original. The original in this case, the Japanese version of this did not have, you know, top to bottom swears. It was not filled with curse words. And I'm someone who is not phased by curse words in any way, shape, or form in my content. But it can get excessive, especially if that was not the original creator's intention. And to just throw that idea away that you need to respect the original creator intentions like she has done several times, all you are doing is ruining any sort of positive reputation you could have. I really wish that Jamie Markey was no longer part of this industry, that she was no longer being handed franchises that people have love and care for, because it's I mean, she's proven time and time again that she, in fact, does not care about them. And, uh, you know, this comes as no surprise, seeing as over the past few weeks, she has doubled and tripled down on her infamous patriarchy localization, uh, saying this is what happens when a script is dubbed into a different language. What, that gives you free reign to make whatever changes you want? No, not at all whatsoever. And this is why people are okay with AI replacing localizers, because I would love a real human being to do high quality work but these individuals have proven time and time again that they cannot be trusted that they ruin everything that they touch and they just cannot help themselves but put a few what would be deemed controversial lines into it uh, you know change wordings of things to be a little bit more sensitive because, you know, nowadays, you can't say certain terms or else you're going to offend someone. They're so worried about not offending people and about changing things in a way that feels more modern that they're completely throwing away the original creator's intention. I'm sure over the next few weeks, Jamie Markey is going to come out and make more statements and put herself into the middle of a bunch more controversies, but this resurfaced video of Jamie Markey proudly touting the changes that were made to the panty and stocking English dub is blowing up online right now, and I'm sure within the next few days, she'll continue to attack us, saying anyone talking about it just hates women. But that's all that I really had to discuss in this video. Let everyone know your thoughts in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed this, make sure to give it a like, share it, and subscribe to the channel. And of course, if you didn't, make sure to give it a dislike. I appreciate your support either way, but I will talk to you all again in the next video really soon.